Kelly. And what happened to Ashley? What'd you do? I sent her away because she was making fun of me tying that knot. <laughs> She's gone. All right, I admit I did not give you enough ribbon. Yes. I can admit my mistakes. <laughs> it wasn't just your thick and the uh, sausage know, fingers. Fingers. <laughs> fingers. The sign of intelligence. All right, now we have all lots more to do, Allison and Christy. Uh, what do we want to start with now? Yeah, again, this is this segment. We just want to show some really creative ways to showcase your photos this Christmas, whether you're displaying them in your home or giving the gift of photography to somebody else. Okay. So um, one of the first things I suggest, you know, you all have your regular photo frames that are usually the same photos all year. The same way you can change your linens, you know, for Christmas, change your photos for Christmas. For the month of December, Smart. put in some photos from last Christmas and enjoy those memories. So that's just a really simple first tip to do. Um, <laughs> it's lurking. Christy, why don't you talk about the uh, wreath there? <laughs> Absolutely. Most of us put a wreath out at Christmas. Uh, what a great way to show the Christmas photos to everybody. Um, this one is uh, indoor, but you can laminate the frames and put them on your front door. Then you don't Very need to nice. worry about weather. Um, this is our photos this year. And you'll notice I didn't go with the traditional color scheme. There's a little orange, a little blue, a little red, uh, just to go with the front of my house a little bit better. So don't be afraid to go outside the red and the green. Yeah. Actually, I've, I've noticed a lot of pinks and purples are out for this Christmas as well. So they're kind of broadening away from just that bright red, bright green. So have fun with it. What I like also is with the PowerPoint, I'm stepping on you, sorry. Um, what's new? <laughs> <laughs> is the fact is the fact that you're not necessarily using just winter pictures or Christmas pictures, but they're fitting into the theme and they might well, represent yeah. the past year. And that, Absolutely, that's like I said, I, of you know my my best friend's son, the one laying down. Well, that's one of our favorite photos of him. So we just added the you know the line that from a Christmas song, and boom, he got a Christmas themed photo from the summertime. I don't know if you know this, but Andrew's uh, great uncle Franklin, you know your yes. uncle Franklin, he yeah. uh, they put a bunch of his pictures of Franklin up there, and it became Aretha Franklin. <laughs> The next thing we have here is just a <laughs> aluminum water bottle. You know, you see them, everybody has them at the gym or whatever. Yep. This one I have personalized with a picture of my daughters. That's going to my husband for Christmas. That is cool. Again, How did you do that? <laughs> I use this awesome thing called the Tolano Transfer Kit. Yeah. Um, you can buy them at the Scrapbook Pantry. And basically, you print it out or get it laser photocopied. And it transfers onto it. Everything you need is in the kit. How durable is it? That's the question. You can wash Ex it. Yeah, extremely. Because they give you a coating to put on top of it as well. And you can put it on wood, on glass, on metal, wow. on paper. It's a phenomenal product. Look it. That is yeah. nice. Look it. It's kind yeah. of neat. So whatever. And it's object. tasteless too. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's something your husband will actually really use. Use and not be embarrassed like the T-shirts with the big kids' photos. Picture and, you on know, there. Best dad. Go. This is something really classy like and it. simple. All right. Um, the same theme, but a little bit different. This I picked up at London Drugs, fifteen dollars, and the photos just slip in. So here I've done the photos all the way around. I'm and is that washable? Here. Is it sealed? It is hand washable. You can't put it in the dishwasher, but the bottom just unscrews, and you'll see that the photos actually just slide in. So this is good for the not so handy person yeah. as well. You'll see, not difficult to do at all. I think we should get our boss's picture and put it in and get a whole line of those mugs for the staff. <laughs> Don't you think, eh? That'd be That's great. great and, <laughs> and the world's greatest boss. And we'll right? all walk around with it. <laughs> yeah. You'd like yeah. that. <laughs> okay, on to our next thing, which is really great. These are carried at a few of the scrapbooking stores, the scrapyard and the scrapbook pantry. There are charm bracelet kits. You can also yeah. get them at so we'll my get a shot of that. That's great. So it's really neat because you can personalize it with different photos and all these different charms. I've also done the initials of this. So this is for a grandmother and it has the initials of all the children and their pictures. Nice. So nice little personal gift. Now I don't want to miss anything. We have about a minute left. Okay. There's ones you want to make this sure you get here, to. Just a quick little book that I made for my husband a couple oh, years ago. Neat. Just something small. So big scrapbooking gifts don't need to be huge. Look just this. little. And it's manly. It's, it's in a license plate And these plate are his thing. first two license plates oh, that he has. Fun. So it's, you know, got lots of memories and things oh, like that's that. That's cool. So that you don't have to always cool. be big. This is a canvas that we put some photos on. Again, you can buy that a couple bucks. You can actually dollar stores. Dollar Michaels, stores carry them. Decorate yeah. it up. And this is a 12 by 12 frame that I picked up at Michael's. And it's holding a scrapbook page. So what a way to give a scrapbook page as a gift just a single page. And this is my daughter and her favorite uncle. Wow. So this is something that I can give. And, and then make it look so end, easy. It, yeah. 
And now all my family knows what they're getting for Christmas. Good. Again. Oh, and then really fun with photos and candles. This one is done with a photo printed on the vellum and then just slipped over top of a candle holder or even nice. a plain glass. This one, I'm going to hold this behind it oh, so you can awesome. see. Uh, Take a look at that. And this is just pr a photo printed on a vellum, or sorry, on a transparency, and then put on top on, of a glass. On. Now, and Allison, again, we do have to go. I don't want to rush done. you away, but we do. I know, Allison and Christy, but there is the website, we AllisonOrthner.com. He's going to get all the information if you want more tips and ideas and great workshops available. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Cool. This is great. Welcome. Coming up, we'll wrap up with Jill Bellinda from the crafts to the cuisine. She's at Community Natural Foods.